Good evening. I know I said I wasn't going to stream today, but change of plans because my mom's going to be staying with me for a couple of uh, for a bit, and I had to move some stuff around, which is probably why there's a different background. Um, but she'll be coming tomorrow. So tomorrow I've got the day off work, and I'm going to stream tonight. And tomorrow I've got to clean up all that stuff, and then yeah, turn off off stream during that time. But if I do, we'll, we'll find out. favor you my friend bright moons a bonus reward a blessing from the divines you will need to purchase a crate from the store to continue my friend Akruti is still here more crates are available to purchase my friend If I remember correctly, this lady is not is that pleasant. there.
Oh, Mist. Claw that spills the jub bile must be the one to sop it, dry skin. Heed the words and tend to this matter. Riddles? Really? Not helpful, priest. Not helpful at all. A familiar face. Thank the stars. I seem to remember you providing assistance the last time Stibbins made a mess of things. Or was it the time before? Oh! The kind my manservant Stibbins excels at, I assure you. I was studying the local Zanir and once again assumed that Stibbins would prove to be at least somewhat helpful. He's the kind that comes with a terrible curse and has the locals all in a tither. Niswo Somars is very cross with me. She insists I return to the Zanmir and set things right. And Stibbins isn't any help, not in his current state. Will you assist me? Removing curses. I hardly have the words to do it justice. The hut isn't far away. Meet me there. As an adventurer and treasure hunter, most assuredly. Say, what exactly are you implying, hmm? The fact that we share a certain degree of familiarity doesn't give you cause to be rude. Still, I see your point. had a single Stibbins to deal with when the day began. <laughs> Which one's the real one? Oh, you see what I'm dealing with? No, that would be ridiculous. My Stibbins, the real Stibbins, is still mucking about in the Zanmir. That's where I left him after he triggered this curse. I went to get help when one of these duplicates followed. Obviously. They just keep coming from the Zonmir. It's some sort of side effect of the curse. There were seven Stibbinses last time I checked, but now there are only six. One of the duplicates is missing. They don't listen any better. Thankfully, these duplicates lack even Stibbins's pitiful amount of drive and coordination. It shouldn't have wandered very far. Once you find it, you need to induce it to return. Uh, try mentioning my name. They seem attracted to me for some odd reason. Don't we all? I'm only certain about what they are not. They aren't illusions, and they aren't exact copies of Stibbins. I have no special insight into the mind. Please. So far. Must, must, thy master must be free. Goop monsters that I see in them all the time. Um. That void place, I'm not really cold again. All right, you Stibbinses, attention! Yes, Laura. Oh, Clarice, what hardships you must endure. Finally, one Stibbins is bad enough, but again, goo. That 
makes no sense. Uh, are you quite certain? A master? Other than me? That's it. Oh, back to the shrine. Just so we're clear, I need you to talk to the priest. She's become rather cross with me and refuses to tell... They'll be... F we're off! Stibbins is! Stay here! Understand? Stay! Yes, Stibbo, stay! Stibbo. Back again, dry skin. The claw that spills the jub bile. Save the platitudes and talk to my associate priest. Hmm. She may have more hair than scales, but the dry skin is clever. You have not violated any of our customs, so we are not bound by strength. The legends say that a dry skin sorcerer entered the Zanmir long ago, when my people were foolish enough to live in such places. The shamans of the region banded together. They managed to seal the sorcerer away, deep in the Zanmir. But then, this dry skin and her shiny-headed slave arrived. They damaged the seal. Now the sorcerer seeks to completely break it and escape. The shiny-headed one is the sorcerer's prisoner. He serves as the template for the sorcerer to make more servants. Servants that will stop at nothing to break the seal. Curiously, the long-haired dry skin seems to distract them from their duty. You and the long-haired dry skin must set things right. I do not... Legends say the sorcerer came from a distant land, that he enjoyed poking at roots that are better left. With the seal in place, the Zonmir was just an empty pile of stone. There are many of them, are there not? Let the duplicates fend for each other, while you and the long hair return the Zon... A sorcerer? Now that's something I can work with. I'll meet you in the Zon... Rain Bridge, I'm guessing, is the town around the zone. following me then step lively Stibbins is uh two of them are missing Ugh, I told them the duplicates are yes they act have you seen the prank the local command a duplicate to wait in that nearby circle of flowers by the water's edge then go <sighs> and people Stippo, I'm coming. Stippo, no like water. Stippo, no follow. Hmm. I Here think comes I have an idea. Stibbo stick here. Oh, wait for Stibbo. Stibbo stand here. Have you seen the prank, the local? Command a duplicate to wait in that nearby circle of flowers by the water's edge. Then go and give that vine top. That girl of flowers. Around this circle? 
Dibble stay close. Right. Stibbo, I'm waiting. Follow. Nothing is ever simple when it comes to Stibbons. Why should I have expected anything different from these pale imitations? This switch unlocked the door closest to it. I need you to proceed into that section of the Zonmere and find the floor plate that opens the main... While you seek the switch that unlocks the main door, I'll study these carvings. I recognize the iconography. If I can translate it, maybe we can learn more about the sorcerer and the curse we're facing. And take a duplicate with you, just in case. I have more than enough to spare, and you'll need one if you come across another floor switch. Just look for the blue... Here comes Stibbo. Wait for Stippo. Stippo stick here. People follow. Stibbo stay close. Stibbo is pathetic.
Maybe I should shut, should stop screaming so much. This come on. Stibo stand here. Stibo, I'm coming. You seek to stop my escape. Alongside the one who calls himself Stibbins. Worried he wouldn't be able to get through that. Here comes Stibbo. Stibbo, wait. Stibbo, stay close. Stibbo, I'm waiting. A bug boy. I'm coming. Can I disable the top? One place where you're supposed to stand.
Stibbo no follow. Stibbo follow. Stibbo, I'm waiting. Low place. command him remotely. Wait for Stippo. Stippo, stay here. Stippo, I'm coming. Stay close. Stand here. Guess that was it.
Whatever you did in the south wing didn't unlock the main doors. But it did open the door to the north wing. I suppose I'll have to say... Whatever you did in the south wing... A sorcerer Rectavius? Yes, that's the name mentioned in the carvings. Actually, the entire tale is quite fascinating, if I'm understanding it correctly. Only a rough translation, mind you. To cheat death, the sorcerer transferred his mind into... Well, the literal translation is death mud. What we who know such things call a voraplasm. Unclear. When all else fails, I err on the side of excess. Enter the now accessible. Such as... She sent to the raw already then. Most it here. Stibo, I'm waiting. I'm coming. Still you persist, and you use my own puppets against me. Such audacity will not go unpunished. Stibo. <laughs> Stibo, wait.
no follow. Stibo, stay close. Stibo, wait. Wait for Stibbo. Stibbo, no follow. Ah! Stibbo, follow. Ah! Stibbo, follow. Oh, I'm waiting. The Stibo stay here. For Stibbo. Stay close. Stibbo, stand here. Stibbo, no follow. Stibbo, follow. Stibbo, stand here. Stibbo, I'm coming. Stibbo, I'm waiting. Here comes Stibbo. Stibbo stay here. Oh, wait for Stibbo. Stibbo, wait. Stibbo, I'm coming.
demo stick here. Here comes Stibbo. No water! Steve, oh wait! Steve, oh stay close! Steve, oh stand here! Follow. Oh, wait for Stibbo. Stibbo, I'm waiting. Stibbo, stay here. So annoying that wouldn't work. It was supposed to work last time. 
Very frustrating. you and the duplicates did it worked the main door according to my very rough translation we can't simply repair the seal and lock away the sorcerer again I only see one option we're going to need to slay the sorcerer or destroy the blob it's ingenious as a ball of slime the sorcerer can't break the seal or free himself the Argonians made sure you needed hands for that so he grabbed Stibbons and used it. We need to get Stibbons away from Rectavius and cut off the sword. Based on the information contained in the corner, interesting. Ugh, how revolting. We must be getting closer to the sorcerer's lair. Where's all of the Voriplasm is the one guy? Okay, funny. First task upon rescue will be a deep scrub of my make first now. But that was more than that. So I summoned the big guy. There while I keep the voroplasm in place. Tell me you're 
unharmed. Not here. Let's return to the first hall. As you say, my lady. My lady, I, I must apologize. I seem to have mucked everything up again. Yes, but I've grown accustomed to your antics. Besides, I had a very... My friend, I see you have once again come to the aid of my... Well, that was an unusual adventure. I would say so. Of course, it was... Well done, Lady Moran. I sense the curse has been broken. Even now, I feel the last vestiges of the sorcerer slipping away. Except for what remains in the shiny-headed one, of course. What? That's ridiculous. I'm fine. My lady safely extracted me from the blob of sorcerer. The sorcerer's goo lingers like nose slime on a hatchling's claw. Ah. Oh, goo! Shoo shoo! Stibbins, I won't tolerate muck in my manor house. Quest. That could go a lot longer than I was expecting. I anticipate. time we spoke I ran off and you promised to come rescue me oh don't worry about oh it's nothing I couldn't handle took a bit of running dodged a few claws got stabbed by a few swords but that's life for adventurers of course I mean how else will Tamriel know of your great don't worry about it it'll be to Black Marsh uh, maybe I should practice my terrified screaming Guys, just asking to get killed. I can't remember if I bought the um, stamina. I mean, not stamina, speed upgrade. But I. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay, five left.
It's completely nearly well I have to absorb the NRG. We can't wait any longer. We should begin the experiment. With no porters, no assistance. This endeavor's been a farce from the start, Revis. Now it's a doomed one. How'd that recipe go? Well, here's a turn of luck. It's me, Revis. You helped me out of a scrape in Nysis some time back, remember? Quamamine, tonal resonator, uh, devoured bard, good times. Anyway, here we go remember. again. You, me. House Telvani is funding a practical test of my latest invention, the Phantasmal Sensor. It exercises spirits, ghosts, and other spectral beings near instantaneously. The unquiet dead claim countless lives each season, but no longer. The porters and assistants I contracted with have been waylaid in Narsis, some manner of food poisoning. I'm desperate for an extra set of eyes and hands to help with labor and preparations. Nothing dangerous, I assure you. Oh, I'm so relieved you agreed to help. Before you arrived, I feared my overseers at House Telvani really might... <clears throat> no matter. Tiris and I already set up a small fee... Uh, certainly. It's a wedding of Barrelzar's theory. What? Tiris is, Tiris is really putting me on the spot, aren't you? There are aspects of Telvani culture I find abhorrent. The practice of... When you're on a mission to quiet down restless ghosts, you go where the restless ghosts are. In Morrowind? Huh. I wouldn't think of it. Silencing an ancestor is blasphemy. Taking assistance from random passers-by. The magisters of the house will most certainly have opinions on this. This is easily the most important... Ex I am Tiris Terethi. Firstborn son of Fothis Terethi, and adopted nephew to Magister Therana of Telbranora. I often ask myself the same thing. <laughs> That's a charitable way to put it. Technically, I am Revis's student, but he's taught. You sound like a dick. Dick, Ralph. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. A little bit of treasure. Maybe no guess. None of that stuff. Research, but nope. Too much to show. Where the hell are the stairs? Think of it, Revis. A crumbling ruin is an apt place for your final experiment with House Telvani. Finally, we can get started. A... I need you to paint some stabilizing runes around the area to reinforce the sensor's magics. They're not all that elaborate, I promise. But do be mindful. I'm not leaving anything to chance this time. Here are the materials in a template. 
I infused the paint with ground soul gems to reinforce the rune's potency. At great personal expense, I might add. Right, Tyrus? There's no price too high for success. I have a few more calibrations to attend to. As for Tyrus, he'll probably, you know, observe. For educational purposes. Remember, precision is of the utmost importance. Soul gem infused runes slathered on alien walls. The poor condition of the stone combined with imprecise template virtually guarantees a lack of efficacy. What is Revis, an amateur? Ah, finally, someone else makes an astute observation. Congratulations, you've just become the second smartest person in the room. The runes Revis wants painted will have at most a neg- oh, don't be thick. I have nothing to learn from the likes of Revis Demnevani. This is a mere formality. When I ascend to the council, I will make weeding out hedge mages like Revis my first priority. Oh, yes. Revis knows where he stands with the Telvani Council. Well, that dude is unpleasant. Ah, welcome. Excellent. By the three, can I just tell you how refreshing it is to hear a voice of support? Thank you. Now, the next step these magical pylons provide the key. Fair warning, they can be a bit unruly, but the fundamentals are sound. Spectral energy will pass between them freely, but sometimes... Just pay attention to the energies flowing between... It's nice to... Certainly. Let's begin. Like I said before, pay careful attention to the flow of energy. Find the pylon that isn't properly attuned. the next sequence. Now, the last sequence. It's working. Just a moment more and... Isn't it? Good grief! Damn it all! I triple checked the pylons last night. I field tested the rooms. I've read everything Barrelzar's ever written aside from his fetching diary, and it still doesn't work. Still! No. No. You followed my instructions to the letter, and I practically killed myself proving out the theories in my laboratory <laughs> back home. Literally. My eyebrows only recently grew back. It can't just be bad. Something in Bayond. 
some arcane anomaly that disrupts the function of pylons. Of course, the ruin I choose to work in suffers from some heretofore unseen pylon scrambling hocus pocus. Just another day in the life of Revis Demnavani. Well, we need to find the source of the disturbance. Right. I'll stay here and inspect. What do I think? What is that map? Really that important? Well, of course it is. I'm a member of House Telvani for Beck's sake. Absolutely. Yes. Well, let's get this pass underway. Our maps of Veyond didn't depict this tunnel. Vex head. Be on your guard. Let me Falmer down here, maybe. Oh wait, no. Keep that brute away from me. I'm thinking them I'm thinking of the walk to him over on. There's a strange aura on the other side of this door. Can you feel it? Oh, what am I saying? Of course. Finally. Now then, these Vala stones are clouded. Some manner of arcane erosion. They must be the source of Revis's trouble. Destroying them in this state could generate an explosive burst of magicka. And draining their power is no small feat. Unless, of course, you happen to be me. Smash away, hero, and let's get out of this place. Tiris, the interference. I think it may come from clouded... Vala stones? Indeed. The help and I already dealt with them. You're Fuck you, don't call me the help. Thank you, I... Wait, does anyone else feel that? Intruders? Get out! Get out! A spirit? Stand back, both of you. It's time for a true test of the phantasmal sensor. Uh, get it away from me! B back, you creature! I mean it! Uh, wait, Tyrus! No! Ah! Oblivion, take me! He's dead! Tyrus is dead! I tried to use the phantasmal sensor to quiet that alien specter, but Tyrus panicked and started to banish it with his own man. Just vanished. Yeah, sure, just vanished. To the afterlife! This is classic Revis, you know. I'm a pox. I'll just need a moment to think about what I'm going to tell the house about Tyrus and the. What? What is happening to me? Oh, Tyrus. Now I can hear him in my mind. Haunting. I, I can't. Help me. Use the, the sensor. Tyrus. He's not gone after all. Please forgive me, Sarah. While I was wallowing in self-pity, you were out here trying to clean up my mess. And by the three, Tyrus still lived, along with the clouded Barla stones. Interesting. The sensor might have prompted some kind of animus inversion. Uh, the specifics can wait. We? No, no, no. I've done enough damage. I'll come along, offer scholarly advice and such. But you're the only person I... The clouded Barla stones are sort of thickening the magical fabric of this place. A soul like Tyrus's would cause ripples. Allow me to make a small modification to the sensor. There. I'll prove it. Let's not get ahead.
Oh, there's a soldier on the ground over there. Oh, can't pick it up. It's disappointing. Clouded barley stones by the three with the aliens selling them wholesale. Uh, I'll probably regret this, but I'll try to attune the stones. You push them out of position, maybe that will set him free. No, not enough. I know that did not look like a success. These clouded barley stones. The aliens wouldn't have carved imperfect stones in this quantity by accident. There's intention... Well, it doesn't just yet. But we're definitely on to something. The sensor can banish the stones, and my attunement spell can stabilize them. You? What do you do now? Keep tracking Tyrus. I'll try to puzzle out a way to use... That's because it is bad. Let's pick up the pace. Tyrus is trying to resist the pull of the clouded Barla stones, but his strength is waning. Luckily, he's running into the... I'm wagering there is a greater load of this clouded glass somewhere in the ruin. A stockpile or something that dwarfs these other Barla stones in size, potency, or both. I can't imagine it will be pleasant, but with enough of the clouded glass in one place, we might be... I am. Mercy. Tyrus is fading faster. Quickly, just smash these stones and we'll hope for the best. There. Now, use the sensor. We have to find the central load. This is it. 
Beck's head. It's not a cluster of glass. It's an entire well. All right. Let's go over the plan. We were looking for a pilot. First, we need to replicate the original event. Aim the phantasmal sensor at him and unleash its power. While you're doing that, I'll cast the attunement. Much less confident than you. If it's any con... Discharging spells and... Seven in ten. It's working! We did it! Tiris, are you all right? Revis! I... I... I am alive. Thank you. A.M.'s mercy. I thought I was dead. I never should have cast that. But the ghost was there and I just... Just panicked. Oh, dear. Uh, there, there, Tiris. Why don't we head back to camp, all right? A wee bit embarrassing. Writing the Magister straight away, Revis. You will receive accolades aplenty. Oh, that's a uh, very generous tyranny. Well, this is unexpected. I'd resolved to spend the rest of my life in exile, but <laughs> now Tyrus is singing my praises. Hopefully, Tyrus safe travels, my friend. As soon as I can, yes. Ha! <laughs> no, no. I'm far. Quest. Oh, that's an alien grace to run him out to teleport again. Maybe it was just a special for last month. Are you from around here? Sorry, I'm not familiar with Gideon and... Wait, are you here because of my flyer? I'm an author. Aspiring, really. I've penned a few romance novels, but they all lack. Yes, well, not exactly. A tragic affair played out there years ago, and love-struck spirits still haunt the castle. I acquired a magic lantern that allows me to speak to the ghost. Thank you for agreeing to accompany me. Well, I can tell you if alien... Oh, that's easy. You just sort of jiggle it, or something. Look, I'm an impulse buyer. Yes. Well, I fancy myself one at any rate. My novels receive... mixed reviews. But romance is a tough genre. You know? All those stuffy critics want is highbrow, elf in a park. Because I'm a romantic, you silly. I mean, sure, I've never been in a really serious relationship. But let's be honest. Tales of people settling into stable marriages and living happy, fulfilling lives don't sell. People want passion, danger. 
Sorry, give me a second. Oh, yes! Me? Only the basics. Oh, you know, my great great grandmother. In the morning, high, high. Oh, this is a city? This is a more town, isn't it? Small town. You made it. All right. This is the place where people see the spirit. Go on and try out the lantern. Who intrudes upon my grief? Giovas is lost. My son, you. You can see me? <laughs> it matters little. The miseries of Castle Giovas bind me here, bind all of us here. I am Duchess Estella of Castle Giovas. As for the curse, it is the work of a vile trollop named Elizinda. Arke scorn her soul. My darling boy, Mathen was infatuated with her. And how did she repay his effect? I cannot bear to speak of it any more. My poor Mathen. I sense his presence sometimes. Help him. Help my son. Succeed where his mother... It worked! I told you it would work! Tall Papa's... Yes, tied to a cottage nearby. I can almost picture it. Rustic, secluded, tousled quilts, embers smoldering on the hearth. Gives me the prickles. Almost makes you forget someone likely died there. Something she said does trouble me a bit. The Duchess said the lover's name was Alazinda. That was my great-great-grandmother's mm. name. It can't be a coincidence, can it? She lived in Gideon for a time before moving back to Al Hung at some point, basically. I'm not sure how. Yeah. I'm not sure why I'm blind. the Duchess mentioned, I think. Not all that romantic, is it? Let's look around. Um, I think you were lied to, lady. Nothing but creaky floorboards and old weeds. May I? Her anguish just jumps off the page, doesn't it? So, Mathen intended to marry someone else, and Alazinda killed him in a fit of passion. It's a ring of Mara, the sort of ring used in the Pledge of Marriage. Mathen might have intended to give it to this mysterious fiance or I'll hang on to the ring. Let's use the lantern. Maybe Who? Who's there? Alizinda, my love. Is it you? So this is This Mathen. light. It offers some respite from my sorrows. You have my thanks. I am Mathen Gallinus. Heir to the Duchy of Giovess. What brings you to this place? Curse? Is heartache not curse enough? My great love, Alizinda, poisoned me on the very night I meant to propose to her. Someone deceived her. Told her I meant... I... 
I do not know. I've learned that certain objects hold a grip on the soul. Things we treasured in life. In my darkest moments, I sometimes... Maybe... These long, grey years make it difficult to think. Seek out the chapel. You will find it to the west, amidst the ruins of the castle. If my armor keeps me in this sorry state, I beg you to find it. My lady, forgive my impertinence, but you are the very image of my lost love, Alizinda. How could this be? Oh my goodness. I, I'll catch up to you at you the chapel, all right? Spirit, I need to jot down some notes. At last, fate grants me a kindness. We must help you. What is that? Well, here we are, and not a scrap of golden armor in sight. Let's have a look around. What's that you've got there? Not a, a magical incantation. The handwriting is different from Alizinda's journal. That means she can't be responsible for the curse. Yes, and more importantly, why? The person who cast the spell clearly had an axe to grind. Maybe it was a court wizard or some jilted witch. My novel's less romance and mystery at this point. Let's use the lantern. What are you doing here? Why aren't you caring for my boy? Did you find my dear Mathen? Can't I trust you to locate a... How is that possible? It had to be Alizinda. When Mathen died, the Duchy's light died with him. That Red Guard went... Yes! Harke, forgive me. I wept over his body in this very chapel for three days without sleep. I, I cast the spell over his armor and sword, but it went awry. I wrote everything down. You can... Necromancy? How could she... You! Oh, I see you well enough, Redguard. You think I don't notice the family resemblance? You stay away from my boy! <laughs> Tava's feathers! Bit touchy, isn't she? Yeah. Let's make our way to this private study carefully. His own mother toying with dark magic in this very room. What a plot twist. God, what is it with necromancers and skulls?
You found Duchess Estella's notes that quickly? Really? Oh, I think I spotted some on the way across the castle grounds. I knew that herbalism workshop would come in handy someday. If we do manage to find the armor, be careful pulling it out of... I saw a clump of hard stain on the way here. Come on! Right? You found his helm? We're off to a great start. Sorry. Well, Duchess Estella got them into the situation, right? She cast the ugly spell that cursed poor Mathin. Maybe, maybe not. She wasn't a professional necromancer. Maybe she missed something too. Remember what Mathin told us? Certain objects take hold of the soul. Only one way to find out. Let's use the lantern again. Lady Isara, I had not expected to see you again. Why do you summon me? Where are we? It's been so long since I walked the grounds of the castle. I scarcely recognize it. Whatever the spell, some ill-conceived plot to resurrect me, I presume. Mother never could suppress her passion for the occult. Now we both pay the price. But even so, I feel something else now. My ring of Mara? I had not thought to see it again. I see it clearly now, though. At rest near the heart of the fair Lady Yasara. Lady Yasara, you bear not only Alicinda's ring, but her spirit as well. <laughs> I a heart, it would pound like a drum at the sight of you. I, uh, thank you, <laughs> Mathen. I'm sorry for what happened to you. My friend and I will fix it, I promise. Having you beside me is all I need. Come, let me sweep you away. Find my armor and break the curse. Your friend will be safe with me in the meantime. <laughs> oh my, what is, what just happened? <laughs> Mathen, what did you do? Summon me again? Where is your lecherous friend? Just like her ancestor, ensnaring her. Mathen truly meant to marry Elizinda. A woman with no pedigree, no means, and no great talent. She was a no one. I couldn't bear the idea of him throwing his few. I only meant to split them apart. Mm. It was for his own good. Not typical of low bred paupers, she overreacted. Mathen died by her hand, not mine. <laughs> None of this matters. It is in the mausoleum, beneath the Great Bridge, guarded by Calvis Vannon, first Duke of Geoves. Retrieve the sword. I don't want that woman lingering near my son any more than you do. Oh my god, fuck off, lady. You're so insufferable.
Damn it. I take a shortcut. I'm trying to avoid the soldiers at the same time. Or ghost soldiers, or soldier ghosts, or ghosts of soldiers, or whatever you want to call them. Nothing you won't take from me. Place the regalia, adventurer. It is well past time we left. Do what you will, my friend. Mathen! Why aren't you? Mathen! I'm, I'm still here. I am sorry for absconding with dear Lady Yasara. I found myself conflicted, torn between two intentions, trapped, perhaps. The foul burden of necromancy no longer weighs me down, perhaps. Part of me still yearns for the warmth of Aetherius. But now, as I behold the beautiful Lady Yasara, and Lady Yasara, light of my afterlife, that ring you carry is the key to my heart. I leave my faith in your hands. My hands? Mathen, what are you saying? If you choose to wear the ring, I will remain by your side. An attentive and loving guardian. Are you serious? Tall Papa, preserve me. Destroy the ring, and I will pass to Aetherius. The choice, my lady, is yours. Did I just get a proposal from a ghost? Up until now, the only man who... Ugh! How could he lay something like this at my feet? I can barely decide which boots to wear most days. When he abducted... I mean, swept me away, I don't know. Aside from the whole ghostly murder vic... I want you to stay, Mathen. I really do. But it wouldn't be fair to you or Alizinda. Our friend will destroy the ring. I understand. Yours is a loving heart, Yasara. I pray you find someone worthy to share it with. <laughs> Goodbye, Mathen. Ugh. Isn't this always the way? You find the man of your dreams, but it turns out he's the lost soul of a man your ancestor poisoned in a fit of passion 200 years ago. Just... You're right, of course. I'm desperate for some grand romance, but it's no more real than my stories if I act selfishly. Ugh. Gods, he was gorgeous. Are you joking? Of course I'm going to write about this. <laughs> Tragedy, lies, murder, necromancy, intrigue. <laughs> no. I have crown blood on my mother's side. The idea that a beloved ancestor who accomplished so much in Sentinel played a role in some salacious and deadly affair? It would not go. I did. At least, I think I did. Maybe. Hey. Cockpit alchemy.
the Naga country. Naga. Oh, I admit it's quite a story, but I know the difference between a tall tale and a large problem. I'll help however I can. I shudder to think what your elven circus would consider far-fetched. I'm not so sure I believe it myself. I wonder if Al could along. My, my. You're as free-roaming as a traveling circus. I wouldn't have expected we'd cross paths on the other side of Tamriel. I would invite you to join... There's a more sinister mischief in Farmer's Nook than the sort the House of Reveries trades in. Uh, I hear of townsfolk disappearing, only to turn up and act oddly. We only set camp recently. None. That farmer Hesef said his sister was... Hesef mentioned that two of his neighbors also had loved ones vanish. Braden DeVoe... Patching things up with my sister was easier than I expected. I should have given her more credit. They say you can never truly know another person, but talk. Sleepy little towns like Farmer's Nook are the most in need of an escape. Help, of course. Have you forgotten already? So, working with the Mummers. They may seem strange, but you're safer resting at their camp than at the inn. Not to say Braden runs a poor establishment, mind. There's just strangeness afoot in our little village. Folk have been going missing of late, including my sister, Seal. Never for long, a few days. Just enough to plant to worry before they wander back as if nothing happened. But something did. They come back. Uh, weren't her memory. She could recall details down to where she last left the salt, but acted like she'd never tasted it. She'd bring up things I'd long forgotten as if they'd happened. Can't say. Felt like she wanted to relive the past, good and bad. Don't know what would have brought that on. Seal led me to our old swimming hole. Hadn't been there in decades. She dove right in like we did as kids. I... That's right. Even with that ink in the pool, I could tell her a lot from our child. No, no. We were all a bit shaky. Truth is, can a ghost take you? Weed. <laughs> it was like, wait, I'm talking to a horse? Oh, careful. You might have scared the mare. Who are you? You've come about Bugtail. I knew someone would, but my neighbors have kept their distance since he returned. I cannot blame them. I scarcely wish to take him back myself. Yes, or rather, I fear I will share his fate. Bugtail rode out to deliver a horse despite my protest. The gelding returned. He did not. Before I would have been the first to go looking, but I dreaded he'd return. Dead or gone for now. Even the horses could tell something was wrong with him. I fought with this one's reins as he groomed her. I do not wish to speak. In the far off land of elsewhere, I was taken by sea elf privateers and sold into imperial slavery. Bugtail, you may think me a spinner of tall tales, but I swear I speak no lies. Bugtail and I were languishing under the I hope those days have better prepared you for our troubles than I. Truthfully, I do not know. I would not have suspected anything. He seemed to want to... Hey. you were the one who saved the king's life we're out of meat and no hot meals if those are luxuries to which you're accustomed you can keep on moving and find it what are you some sort of adventurer mm -hmm. yeah yeah you look the part sorry i was short with you since igman passed i've 
Had to work twice as hard. Damned fool. He wanted to build a bonfire and drink the night away like we used to. Haven't seen Igman down. Not so much of a scrap of clothing. Just black, tarry ashes. Never seen anything throw such a mm. thick black smoke. But it didn't smell like you'd expect. A construct. Hair and burned flesh. I want to know what happened to my brother. That's right. Said he got. Huh. No. Two others dis. You're Wait a moment, placed. stranger. I need to speak with you. So you're the one's been asking questions about the people who've gone missing. I don't like involving strangers in our affairs, but my daughter's gone. Not the first time, or even the fourth, that Annie's has run off, but. Well. A few days ago, I, I punished her for neglecting her chores again. She must have snuck out in the night. I couldn't find hide nor hair of her in the morning. She hasn't been home since. I just want to know she's all right. I hate asking a stranger to do this, but no one else has the spine to leave the nook right now. And I can't go traipsing after that rapscallion like I used to. Will you find Anise and bring her back to me? Our house is just over there. She doesn't want to live here in Farmer's Nook, I can tell you that. That girl's been trying to get out of here since she was old enough. It's not like I raised her to embrace a life of piracy. It's those books her father got her when she was young. Filled her head with ridiculous tales of far-off land. Sailing is days of rope burns and sunburns. It's being tossed about the cabin while a storm rolls your ship. It's bad food, stale water, and wondering if you'll ever make it home. Well, any luck, stranger? Um, we don't have much, I know. Anise never fails to remind me. Have you found... That's just some old handbill Anise had been hanging on to. Months old. Some vessel seeking fresh-faced deckhands that's long since... Pulled. When Anise was little, we couldn't keep her away from it. She'd grab it when we weren't looking and batter the walls and stairs, pretending it was her pirate sword. And drove my husband crazy. What's that doing out? Anissa's plan for a fort. My husband built it for her when she was about six. Oh, it must be a moldering wreck by now. Uh, unless... <sighs> Ah, you're off to find this oh. Annie girl, then. Tell me what you've learned. I wasn't able to overhear everything. You've been gone for some time. You managed to persuade the locals to share their stories with you, yes? Did their firelight tales share any common theme? Restless phantoms returning to say their last goodbyes before being spirited away once more? This really is beginning to sound like a ghost story. It's all a little too coincidental. You and Hesef have been our only visitors at the camp. If Annie says only recently gone missing, then seeking out a more.
here and heading somewhere else. Seems our pirate raided the pantry before she left. She planned to be gone a while. Mm. A Shit, list of all. departures. Annie's had a mind to travel. I wonder what adventures this tiny sword has seen. I can picture our young heroine. Wielding her imagination like a saber and cutting her way through all manner of adventure. I crave adventure and freedom. Play is my only escape. I come here to plan. I fantasize about leaving. Doubt holds me back. I need someone to believe in me. So often I'm alone, but today I have a visitor. Someone I trust. I go with them. I've never been more excited. I believe I have... Getting into character, you could say. Preparing for a part is all about understanding my role. How they think. She's young, or at least young at heart. She's unhappy with her life, but she feels trapped. She has a dream to follow, but she's too scared to go it alone. Only... One place to sleep, yet two mugs on the crate, both unfinished. And of course, two sets of footprints heading south into the mark. I don't know who Annie's met out here, but that might very well be the case. Someone she... The tracks lead to this ruin. Did Annie's come here seeking adventure? Despite the smell, I don't think that's a funerary urn. The ashes are too fresh. There are bits of paper in this brazier, but most of these books are too soggy for Timothy. This book is well worn, but hardly old. I believe Annie's came here and performed some sort of ritual. I'm certain that well-worn adventure book was a dear possession to Annie's. She wouldn't have torn pages from it. Daedric rituals weren't on my curriculum in the College of Sapiox, but I've studied enough magic to puzzle this out. There's a... If Annie's does return to Farmer's Nook, be careful confronting her. The last... Afraid my... Others looked all over for you. Where have you been? Ugh, I ran away again, all right? Just be glad I came back at all. What's the big deal? This is the seventh time I tried running away. Do I know? No, I don't know you. Why do you care? And none of those people disappeared. They went after their dreams. I'm not the only one who... They just didn't want anyone to miss them. It's why I'm here now. I didn't want the last time my mom saw me to be after another... <laughs> what? No, no, it's not like they're buried in a crypt or anything. I'm just... <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but... May we have a word in private? So, that's Anis Favrod. How apropos. Considering that little library we found is a shrine to Hermaeus Mora. Though I'm still not sure how the demon of knowledge fits into this puzzle of ours. 
It certainly looks that way. I didn't find anything relating to the ritual that was performed at that shrine, but some of those moldy tomes shed a little light on things. The Aeliads, who used to live out here, revered... The shrine we found was simply one of many ruins. I discovered record of another... The ruin I spoke of is north of town. Not... The ruin... We have... She's back. She's safe. No, nothing. She looks right as rain, and I'd recognize that attitude anywhere. Ritual? <laughs> what nonsense has gotten into the girl's head? Yari Swab, you cannot board this vessel until you have satisfied me. The ha! think you can sail with me, we one? I fell giants like trees. I, what pirate lass hasn't appreciated a fine pile of gold? But no, what? And there you have it. What worth is booty if it isn't earned? What is a battle if you don't cut a bloody swath through your enemies? We sail for honor, for gold. The seas swallow you. The high seas run deeper than any river. Filled with this one erects the spine. What uses a pirate for the possessions of the dead? The high sea I erect the spine of respect. Think you have what it takes to join So you've impressed the big bear and the hard turtle. You think I'd miss the conversation? That's right! We're family! Every one of us from the cap. Your performance could have used more verve, but it seems the Guardians aren't judging on enthusiasm. Oh, I alchemy. I don't want you here Oriel anymore. Oriel above. It's Annie's and all the others. They appear to be alive. Let's try waking them. Oh, darling, that's lovely. Gold, so much gold. <sighs> Dare ye cross sabers with Red Anise? <sighs> it's a dream. They're all dreaming. This is no normal sleep. But it's oddly benign for a curse. None of these people appear to be in distress. In fact, they seem to be... Not from the spell they're under, no. Though why they were made to... I believe so. But I'm not entirely certain we should. Right now, the spell isn't doing any harm. But ta now that you've rehearsed your role, let's cast you as a pirate in her fantasy. When you're ready, place a hand on Anise's forehead and start counting sails. Look alive! The dead have come for us!
If you came to help, you have my thanks. But it's not needed. Look, what did you... No, 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 no. I'm Red Anise, the Crimson Shrike. Stow it, sailor. With Prince Vogger dead, we need to find his treasure. Check his cabin while I search the rest. Have a look! Prince Vogger's treasure was... Red Anise to you, Swabby. This book, this is... This is about Captain Wareshark and, and Flicka and the others. I don't understand. This... This is all a story. But where am I? Why aren't I in the book? I... I remember it now. I remember it all. Damn it, Cress. You said I could finally escape and no one would come for me. Cress said that they would make it so I could finally live out my dreams. I could have this life, and they would take my place. I'd finally be free of Farmer's Nook, and my mom wouldn't ever need to... I know. It was too perfect. I just want to celebrate victory with the captain once before... I... please... You're awake! Good. So, she stepped right into the story that's inspired her since she was lit. You're telling me this crest didn't take her place. They traded for it? And not just her, but everyone here. What does Cress have to gain from these bargains? The deal they made isn't so hard. Here we go. Pray that a rude awakening is the worst they have to suffer. It's ready. Wake Anis, and the curse will break. <sighs> Farewell, Captain. All right, so we're away. Cress is different. They looked like Bugtail when they approached me, but his clothes were covered in ink, and he seemed unwell. He... they confessed that they weren't who they appeared to be. Cress didn't look suspicious to me, just sad vulnerable they said they screwed up again that they couldn't be who they were i think they were running away too from a life they didn't want to go back to you know how many times i tried to do that but i could never just leave my mom behind alone i thought we'd all be happy she would not mother how could you do this how could you wake me Cress? it was a damn sight better than this I had a castle, servants, Hesef? Hesef seems happy with his plow and his pigs. He's a grown man. Dead? Oh, Hesef, I never wanted that. Where are we? Some kind of tomb? Where's my treasure? Wait, so this is real? The dream is gone? My treasure's gone? Why would he think I'm dead? That's not what Cress promised. <laughs> Heck of a way to go. Wait. So delicious. So moist. The sweet rose. <laughs> the most delicious, moist, warm. Yes! What else would one dream about? Have you never known the ecstasy of sweet moon sugar cream melting upon your tongue? So he could, if he were satisfied with iced rose grown stale from weeks on the road. But when. Oh, 
Thank you for finding me. I followed you. I was glad to see you back at the Happy Crow. Try not to judge them too harshly for their grouchiness. It could be that the two... Why indeed? It's easy to guess what motivated these people to pursue them. Indeed. We've all had to make choices about what we're willing... They have, with the help and support... Before I go back to the town, I'm going to quickly visit the little big town. Oh, I need to clear out my inventory a little bit. safe would be to him but I need to get rid of them Thomas met the A variety of ice to research. I was picking those up. Oh, bloody, um, basically worthless. General store. Girl, let's just know that I'm going
Then is Chris gonna be a watcher? Dude, I feel like a watcher is definitely even my more is kind of danger. Have you seen a niece? She ran off. Maya asked me to keep the girl occupied, so I kept her mug full and listened to her go on about her pirate stories. I'm getting famished, so I asked Hasef to watch her while I made a stew. That was the last. <sighs> they were playing cards when she just bolted out of her chair like a snake bitter and ran out the door. He chased her, but Hasef's not much of a runner. Said a niece was. Hold on, real Anise? Who was it we've been watching this whole time? Priest of Maze Wara. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. You, you're the one I don't know. Why are you here? Excuse me? You don't even know me. I, I am. Uh, uh um. I'm her twin sister. <laughs> I can't. Enough of this charade, Cress. Off with your false face. What are you? Ah! You're a Daedra? Wait! Don't hurt me. I didn't do anything. I, I just want to live like you. I'm so tired of watching the Unbound Library of the One Who Knows. To record what was observed, that is our purpose. To watch your life. I kept getting it wrong. Being a person, despite all I knew, I kept mm. making mistakes. Bad, painful mistakes. Yes, please. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I won't cause any more trouble. This is where the one who knows sent me. It is what I know. I thought I could live here and no one would treat me any differently. I could finally experience to know. As they must. Alone. I suppose I am. I'll... Well... I don't know what I'll do without a mortal form. I need a mortal pack to do anything more than create an illusion. Correct. The terms are not important. The one who knows watches most. The one seeks not to change, but to observe. If the one sees me here, they will know what was once unknown. I would return to Apocrypha and resume the catalog of all... So, this pitiable creature wants to escape its lot in life, too. Even Daedra dare to dream. I'd be a hit. I know that suffocating feeling far too well, and the desperation to escape it. I know what it's like. Misguided as Cress was, I don't believe they acted in malice. There aren't many stories of compassion. It may fly in the face of common sense, but I think Cress might have the makings of a fine player. They're a bit unrefined, but taking on a new role seems to come naturally, and they'll never forget their lives. I could spot them. I thought so, and my eye for talent is one of the best among the players. By the time Cress presents themselves, all's well that ends well, as they say. This certainly wasn't the direction I expected this story to take, but a good move. All right, Cress, I have a deal for you. You do? Does this mean I can stay? No, not in Farmer's Nook, anyway. Oh, does it mean I don't have to go back to the library? Yes, and you will get to live a great many incredible lives. I can? What do you need me to do? Watch and learn. You're going to be my apprentice. Now, let's get you a mask. Pretty cool. You can tell they sound like a child.
Hein the dog. It's harmless. Oh, Tertia, you idiot. No body? Ring? Uh -huh. on un... He wasn't cursed. He was hallucinating. The toad that Argonian used to ease his pain must have been too strong for him. Uh -huh. I, can... I was once kidnapped by a crazed Sulzon warlord and offered the heads of my neighbors as a dowry. I'd rather not talk. Alosius, I wonder if the Temple of Mara would marry us posthumously. Well, why not? I have absolutely. It's not like this. Me? Here. the defense of Fort Redmayne. So I heard. <laughs> Called her a cute. That's funny. I saw some rather unsavory ruffians skulking about. Fang furs, I'm sure. Well, they wouldn't dare approach us directly. We're safe enough, Julius. All the same, I'd rather you not venture outside without me, brother. The Fangfurls continue to sniff around our skirts. If we don't move quickly, there won't be a half... Let's see. Ah, it seems the Fangfurls have their thumbs in some very dirty pies. I'm... By gifting Pungent Adder some umbrage. Looking at this ledger, I see two morsels dangling before us. Firstly, according to this, the Fangfurls use dead drops to issue and receive orders. If we steal those... We sent Pungent Adder a more personal message. It seems he has a barrel of Oleander Coast Reserve waiting at the docks. Let's say we season it with something foul. 
While you sabotage the dead drops and taint his wine, Julius and I will write a signed letter to make his blood boil. Then it's just a matter of combing the... Hang on to them, I suppose. They might be useful to Peru. Uh, the cask is at the docks, so... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't imagine that it wouldn't be that far out of town. A little far. Extremely low. God, they are a bit far away from town. Grab the wine. I mean, I'll do the wine and then I'll come back. Oh, wait. I need to just do the wish on me. the frogs
that we've got just Let's look at where we're headed then. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. were bang pearls, weren't they? Yes! They grabbed the two brothers and dragged them out of here. Horrible. But it's none of our business. Thunder rolls as sighs a heart. Fears lay wind as war rages on. Their victorious on the attack. Yes, but if you I can share. Probably should have taken away strong.
The House of Reveries couldn't pass up attending such a lustrous affair. Dream? More than... I think we... Mm, everyone's still here after the party. It seems you have done well, little mortal. I hear you killed Mayrun's Dagon's high priest and stopped the plane. You must... Confused. Expecting it to be the outlaws then. Skippy on. Not now, Julius. A friend could be ambushed at any moment. I'll deal with you myself. Bindings. Oh, thank the divines. Those fang furls have unpleasant knot work. Let's not linger here. Shall we meet back at our office?
good to see you. Oh, a party was just what I... No, unless you... <laughs> the news is favorable. My letter to the Magisters convinced them that the Phantasmal Sensor is a worthy enterprise. I'm to carry on Revis's work. I'm... The wise mage is the mage who can learn from their mistakes. I may not have underestimated Revis's skill, but I... Ah, greetings. Yes, as a matter of fact. Yes, indeed. All right. You're not wearing that. Why? I wanted you to know how appreciative I am. Plans? If so, more and more people are going to show up as I do each side quest, then. I'm curious how big is the room? The room. Not oh, hard to be with that. Right. Worth checking. Thank you. safely and burned our sodden silks. I still feel filthy. We're both going to need a long, hot bath after all this. Absolutely. Now that you've stripped the fang furls of their leader, the whole... now that this matter is settled, up you! Let's check out the two brothers there here. I mean, two brothers here now.
so this is what it's like to be part of an audience. It's much more cheerful than watching silently from the shadows. I... Oh, wonderful! All the players have welcomed me among the troop as if I've always been a part of it. Some even invented some backstories for me. Yes, yes, yes! I've gotten to try out so many things since I became Alchemy's student. Uh, like sticking a sword under my arm for a death scene and not... Thank you for giving me a chance. I wasn't expecting the brothers to show up. But I don't appear to be here. Hello again. Oh, oh. He's on a camel. The champion has arrived. Oh, hey there. I see that you forgot about me again. <laughs> no worries. Uh, Black Marsh was love. Not sure, really. It could have been that weird ritual I was a part of, or that strange liquid I drank. Some sort of venom. You now that I. I'm always asking you to come save me, but I keep forgetting to tell you. Saying that makes this even more exciting. You're an intrepid hero. Just you wait. Not even fire can scare off a vampire like me. I'm afraid to ask, but I've got... Let me see. Yes. I've seen that seal too many times. See the flowers encircling the face? It's a symbol of Dibella. This is a high... So Priestess Rowling was transporting those? Why? Did Grana Cerise know about it? Do you think... No, it couldn't have been Grana. She wasn't in Gideon when the Novitiates were killed. The Priestess had access to the treasury. Had the ear... You should say hello, right? I, um... I'm right behind you. It's Grana Cerise, isn't it? She's been here in this cave all this time. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm sure uncovering murderous cults and meeting your grandmother's ghost is run-of-the-mill fodder for you. But for me, this is a bit much... I know. I should have told you from the start, but I didn't want to scare you off thinking I was crazy or something. I know it is. She just stared us both in the face and guided us to her remains, right? But what now? She put an end to Rolaine's plot, but no one will believe me. The Germains will keep getting stepped on. They'll say I... That might actually work. Keshu the Black Finn and her Argonians couldn't give two croaks about Dibella and her flock. Keshu's war mage, fire from nowhere, knows local history.
sign? Good. Carry on. Son's greetings, Biko. Your friend, Rolaine. Ah, yes, the prophet woman these smooth skins mourn. She's been dead for a very long time, but still they cry. It is very strange. But that is the... Well, then, that is not what I expected you to say. If this is true, there will be a great wailing in the Divilosium. Disbelief also. They curse the woman Cerise Germain and all who hatch from her clutch. Your proof must be hard as stone. I can tell you speak the truth. In the name of Keshu, I... Thank the eight for fire from nowhere. I guess I'll stay in... If I didn't trust Keshu and... Relieved? Honestly, I started all... I... Barely remember the start of that quest. This tree?
Eastern. North East to my corner. North East then. That there is the North East corner. In the northeast most corner. Right, so it's in the fortress. Might be that tree. So, did you finish Shh. your dangerous the job for round. Tuma Maza? We'll speak later. I'm late for my meeting with Doreen.
Stealing from Nocturnal and working with Tuma Mazev doesn't seem worth the risk. The sickle we took from Nocturnal is just what the Necromancer needs to complete his ritual in Bloodrun Cave. Of course, it's worth it. Just stay here until we receive further instructions. Who are you? What did you... She's always been a warrior, even when we were kids. Who told you that? All right. Who have you been talking to? Bloodrun Cave, which I've already completed.
Shrine? Ah, oh, damn. to me at last the faithless wanderer succeeds where my servants fail once again the fruits of devotion prove inferior to the benefits of skill so oh thank goodness hmm i didn't think he would willingly part with a relic that's a relief geo and dari make i can't of course Well, I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Um, I won't be back on tomorrow. I might be back on on Friday, but we'll see. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and to check out Twitch stream live, the link will be in the description below. We can check me out at twitch.tv slash 96 Yeah, hopefully I'll be on on Friday. If not, not sure when. Till then. See you later. Bye.